everyone so today I'm in my bathroom to show you what's in my bathroom and in my shower um, I've seen this tag go around a while ago and I liked it and I've also had a lot of people ask like what do I use in my hair so I figured this would be the best time to show you what I use so I'll show you guys so everyone knows that my room is off to the side and you always see these double mirrors well that door comes into my bathroom so right when you walk in this is what you see So you walk into my bathroom and it looks like this. So it is one sink and two, three mirrors. Right now my niece Annie, she had her birthday so right now we have like these little window cling things going on. And so it says happy birthday to Annie. So on this side, that is my sister's side and Annie's side. So over here, Annie, she's got all of her bows, and my sister's made practically all of these. And then down here, Annie has all of her hair ties and such, and then this is all my sister's makeup. My sister, I probably should tell you. Let's see if this works. My sister, she has like, that's all the makeup she has, and it's crazy that she can have that much, and I have a ton. So that is her makeup stash. And then everyone knows that I keep my makeup over in my room. So I'm going to show you what is in, like, on my side. So let me step back. This is my side. Let me move my towel. Okay, so this is my side. I have the two hot tools that I use the most, which are the Chi straightener. And then this is my new one. It's the Conair Infinity infinity and it's the clampless clipless curling iron I have yet to do a review on that and show you how I use that but then starting over here let's see so right here we have my Clinique three-step system this is the toner and then I use these little cotton squares these ones are from Target they fall apart I recommend you not getting Target brand to get a real brand to me I hate it I hate that they fall apart and then I have my contact solution. Okay, and then I have a million times a million Chi products. So, it's crazy. So right over here, we have the molding clay. And that's what I used when my hair was short to, like, palmate to flip it out. I love this right here. This is called the straight guard. It's amazing. Helmet head in the pump form, so it's like a, it's not aerosol hairspray. That is really good for um, ratting your hair and then making it stay. The 44 Iron Guard, I use that every single day whenever I use hot tools. The Volume Booster, it's okay. I don't really care for it. I would never buy it again. The Shine Infusion, it does make your hair shiny but it stinks and I cannot stand the smell. Infra Texture. Now, this is my favorite product ever. Okay, let me tell you this. So, sorry, I'm kneeling down. So my hair will not curl, it will not hold a curl. I have to use my Chi Iron to make it curl and, it's not, and then it falls like throughout the day, it, it will fall. Um, when I went to hair school in high school for a little bit, I learned about Redken Hot Set, and I used that, but then it made your hair really crunchy. This is meant to be with heat, especially with um, hot, hot heat. You, It's a really fine mist spray in your hair, and then I'll show you in a video, actually, when I do show you my curling, how I curl my hair at the Infinity, but it does not leave your hair crunchy but it makes your hair last all day and it loves the heat. It's amazing. So the infra texture, infra, yeah. So very cool stuff. Okay, so back to this. So next I have the Chi Helmet Head in Aerosol and this one, it smells like oranges and it's kind of weird, kind of stinks, but it's almost gone. And then I do love this hairspray the most. It's the Enviroflex Hold Hairspray. That's my favorite. So I have all of those cheap products. I know it's insane. 
put this back. Okay, so then I move over onto this side. I just have, it used to have bamboo in it. It's my little turtle. Move that aside. My neti pot, I think everybody should have a neti pot. Okay, so, hello. All right, so now over here, my hair products, I have the Aussie Hair Insurance. That is amazing leave-in conditioner. This I really like too. This is called the, by TG, it's the Rockaholic Born to Rock Leave-In Detangler and Defrizzer. I really like it for the defrizzing purpose. Um, it really helps my hair not be as frizzy when I just don't feel like straightening it. Today I did not straighten my hair. Today my hair it has in the Rockaholic spray and then I have in the straight guard. And I just, sorry you can't even see me, jeez. So I put in the straight guard and the Rockaholic, um, what do we call this, Born to Rock. And this is my hair not straightened. I mean, granted that it probably is a little fuzzy, like, it's not as straight as it could be, but I think it looks pretty good. So, I wasn't going anywhere, not going to straighten my hair. Okay, so now, back down here. I have three different dry shampoos. The Salon Graphics, that one, it makes your hair feel like sand. I don't really like it. The Tresemme, I like this one a lot more, and I believe they're the same price, and you get more in this one. Um, it has a good scent. It really does work. The TG Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. This one, you only get a little bit more, and it's like $19. It runs out really fast. I don't really think it's worth it, but it works okay. Then there's this. This is the Bedhead TG by Bedhead. And it's the Brunette Goddess. It's just like a shine spray. And this smells like cocoa butter. It's really nice. I'd like to use that. I've used that much only in the summer, so it's going to last me a long time. Then right over here, this is what I put in my hair every single day after I'm done straightening. It is the Bio Silk Silk Therapy, and it's like the Chi Silk Infusion, people will say, but I've been using this forever, probably since like the 10th grade, so it's been a long time, and I you only use that much. It's you only use a tiny bit. It smells amazing. It makes your hair super duper soft. So, um, do you want to see my toothpaste? This is my toothpaste I use. I use Crest baking soda with peroxide and it's whitening. And I think everyone should have a tongue scraper. That works amazing. Um, then it kind of goes on to my sister's side and Annie's side, like Annie's um, mouthwash, my mouthwash her hair products, my sister's hair products, and then going back into like my sister's stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to take you into my bathroom area. It is clean, but I don't know, this is kind of weird. I guess some people, they don't want to show their bathtub and like that. They, sorry, it's echoing. They will um, bring out their products, but I really don't care, it's totally fine. So I'm going to show you this. So this is my bathroom area, it's in like, like here's my room, you come into the bathroom area, there's a sink area, then in here is the bathroom. This door over here is my sister and Annie's room. Okay, so you walk in, excuse me, and this is my bathroom. My cute trim on the top, it's polka dots. Okay, so this like stand is from Bath and Body Works. No, Bed Bath and Beyond. I really don't recommend it. Sorry, it's getting dark because if you can see, it like goes rusty. I, I don't know. I really hate it. So, but it works. So up top are my items. So right now, what I'm using in my hair is the Aussie Awesome Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. I love it, and it smells amazing. I believe it has some kind of cherry ginger. Let me see. White ginger is what it says. It's amazing. And then I bought this a long time ago and I still have, I have that much left of the Tresemme 
um, Col Color Revitalize Color Protection Conditioner. And so I use that when I really want my hair to be super soft. I have St. Ives Macroderm Abrasion. Down here on the gross shelf, sorry, I have my Sonic Wave, which I use every single day. Love it. And then the Clinique three-step system. This is the liquid facial wash. This is a like a scrubber for like your face. I've actually ripped part of it off and I stuck it onto my thing and it is amazing. I love how it goes in circles and it really gets my skin really nice. I think everybody should have the Aussie three minute miracle. This is amazing stuff. It helps with your hair when you've used a lot of heat or if it just feels dry, this will make your hair feel amazing. And then back here, I've just got um, conditioner from when I dye my hair. I have my pink shower poof, um, my sister's. Down here is Annie's shelf. She just has her baby um, shampoo, her little ducks. And then back in this corner, um, I think this is called the Venus, Venus something, but in here, let's see, the Gillette Venus, that's what I use to shave, it's amazing, it never dulls, I believe it has like five. Oh, this one has four razors, so that's what I use, and then down here in this corner, let's see, this thing is the coolest thing ever. This is called a spongible. Now you can get this at Walmart. Um, I believe it's about, um, I think f f like four fifty or five dollars, and it has like thirty plus washes. And in here, it's like soap on the inside, and it has like this scratchy side, so you can scrub your feet, and it really helps your feet. It's amazing. This one's eucalyptus, I believe. Down here, this is the best stuff ever. It's the St. Ives Moisturizing Oatmeal plus Shea Butter and Shea Butter. Let me open this up for you. Annie's ABCs. Okay, here's what this looks like. I cannot tell you. Oh, it smells amazing. I think this is probably like my second tub I've had. But in here, it's like a body scrub, and it has oatmeal particles in it, and it really, really gets your skin feeling so soft. You guys can see that. Up top here, oh, sorry. Up top here is my sister's stuff, and then we have this little caddy, and it has a fogless mirror on it. It's not a very good mirror, but it works. Our bath soap, and then this is from Eden Allure. Eden Allure, I believe it's called, and that's the lavender soap. I bought that when Nat Nagel said, oh, it's amazing. Okay, well, it's really not. I don't like it. All right, so that's everything that's in my bathroom tour, I guess you would say. Um, if you saw anything in here that you'd like to know more about, go ahead and just leave a comment below, and I'd be more than happy to do a review or to talk about it more for you. So thanks again for watching, and I hope it wasn't too dark and too echoey for you, and have a good day. Bye.